long time no see. I know I've been absent for quite a while. I just had so much stuff on my plate and I've been busy with the blog, busy with work. I've been trying to find a new reviewer. Plus I dived into some new uh, like hobbies. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I have so much on my plate going on right now, but hopefully now that I've got most of it settled, I'll be back more. So this week on Spinebenders, we're gonna be talking about our favorite book swag. Now I've divided my book swag into one, two, let's see, three, four, five categories. Actually, six categories, okay? So I'm gonna start with the first one. My first one, I think all book bloggers will like, these are all bloggers or whatever swag you get, are the bookmarks with the little, with the little ribbons at the end. I really like these. I think they're, oops, I think they're really awesome. Like this one, I particularly like, cause it's from the, it's the Morgan the Vampires and look, it like shimmers. I don't know if you guys can see it on there. And like these ones, they have the little things at the end. So I really like those. My next category are magnets. Not that many authors do magnets, but I think they're really good. I mean, I have these on my fridge, okay? This is Queen of the Dead, and it's a magnet. We got one from, um, from Invincible Summer. And I got one also for the lipstick laws. And yes, I do use these on my refrigerator if anybody wants to know. <laughs> I use them. Another thing of book swag I love to get are tattoos. I think they're so cool. I don't personally wear the tattoos myself, but my son has put on a few. Here's the Hunger Games. Like I'll put them on him. And these is this is a sticker. So tattoo stickers, I really like these. I think they're different and not what all most authors do. Um, another thing I like a swag are buttons. I love buttons, cause these I can stick like everywhere. I have some like, this is Pure, and this one is the Iron Queen, and this one is Shadow Heels. This one's a little bit smaller. But I, I like the buttons. I think these are cute. Um, usually when I go like to book, to book events, I'll like put a few on my bag. Um, I'll like sort of like all jazz it all up with all kinds of book swag but yes I mean I really love these types I really think authors need to do more like unique stuff but I really like the buttons another thing that I get that recently some authors have done and publishers are necklaces um, this one is from this is from uh, personal effects by Ian e. Cokey and I received this at the Austin Teen Book Festival and she was giving them away and these are like really cool and this one is from Splintered, and look, I mean, the chain, the necklace isn't, oh, I mean, this is thread, but, I mean, that's cool. It comes with the key, you see? And this one I got from the Iron King, I mean, the Iron Prince, sorry, the last book of the Iron Face series, and this one is blue, and it also comes, like, there's a little locket, and there's the key. I think these are like really, really cool. I mean, not many authors do necklaces. I mean, especially if you have like a key thing going on, but hey, if you can put that into your book and you know, do the whole thing. I really think these are awesome swag. It's really, really cool and really unique. Not that many people, you know, do that stuff. My favorite book swag, I believe like of all time, because I've never seen this. I've only seen this one author do this. And I never seen anybody else do it ever since. I mean, I admit it may cost money, but these is really cool. It's an iron on patch. Yeah, an iron on patch. Um, it says the Demon Trappers, and it has all the information in the back for the book. And this is also an adhesive decal, like for the car. You know, this is unique swag, you know? I mean, I know they all pass out bookmarks and book plates and, you know, stuff like that, but dude, this like for me takes the cake it's like wow the, this is awesome i gave away i think the author gave me like six a while back i gave them all away and i just kept one of each and i really love them like i hoard these because these are like my favorite yeah so this is awesome so i really think authors need to do like you know more diverse swag and i have one more category which is like my melissa melissa category like i got this, this is for jane Eyre, and this is a pencil this I got for the lipstick laws and I received some lipstick. Yeah, I thought that was really cute. I thought that went really well with the fact that lipstick laws, lipstick, you know, cool. And this is from Scholastic. It's just a little, you know, these are really cool also, little bracelets 
or I don't know what you call these things, these little rubber thingies. But I mean, these are cool. They're different. So I really think, you know, that book swag has gotten diverse in what you do. Um, these are my favorite, like, these are some of the coolest book swags like I've ever gotten. But I really think authors need to step out and do other stuff. And there's one. This is my new hobby I'll share with you guys right now. My new hobby <laughs> is making a bottle cap swag. And look, this one, I made, this, I made these to give away. I'm not selling them. These are to give away. These are Callum and Harper. And this is Thomas in January. And these are by, this is a Sleepless series by Fisher and Melly. I'm not sure if you guys can see those. But I started diving into this hobby of making bottle cap swag. And I think it's really cool. It's unique and not that many people have it. But I'm just making them like for now to give away. But yeah, that is my favorite book swag. Thank you guys as always for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in a later video. Bye.